Right everyone, we have collector here. Recently got sent a Lumin Top Tall AA flashlight, so I thought I'd do a review on it and and this is it. So this is how you get it. One of their nice cardboard lined boxes. Slide the torch out. I'll put that to the side, don't need that now. So you get a plastic case with it, little magnetised lid. There's the little sheet with the specs on it and all that. So you get the flashlight itself, which is very nice. You get a magnetised tail cap, the little rubber diffuser, which also glow in the dark. You get a very nice lanyard, spare O-rings, and then a warranty card in the bottom there. So I'll put some of the other stuff away we don't need that to do the review <clears throat> put them to the side for now yeah so this is it oh and the other probably one of the best things you get with this is a rechargeable 14500 battery 750 milliamp hours lumidop's own brand and these are a bit more powerful than a these are 3.7 volts so although it's the same size as a double a more power come out of these so this will take the 1450 batteries or a double a battery if you use the double a batteries the power is slightly less so it's aircraft grade aluminium body with a hard anodized finish quite a small torch Probably perfect size for EDC. I like these for EDC. They're perfect for night walking, dog walking, something like that. Because you get a lot of power in a small package. So you get three modes. A low, medium and high. And you can change that by either half clicking. What I did before, full clicks. Or you can do it by rotating the top so there's these three different ways you can change the modes on this got a nice bit of knurling on there keep it in your hand you know a nice bit of grip got your removable pocket clip which could go on both sides and you could probably i haven't tried it yet but you could probably take this off reverse it this way and then you could put this on the peak of a cap So there's the tail switch and you've got the nice cutouts in the side. Makes it easier to press your finger in that way. There's your lanyard holes. Yeah, overall very nice flashlight. Pre-LED with I'm not sure what reflector that is, but that's not really that important anyway. And inside there, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but on camera there's a glow in the dark ring in there so after it's been on for a while not you probably won't show off on camera but there's a glow in the dark ring so the three modes on this are i'll go over to 14500 first so 14500 low is eight lumens the medium is 95 lumens and the high is 550 lumens and then with a double a it's low is seven medium is 25 and high is 110 and I'll show you those outside later so I mentioned that it takes two different batteries the AA or the 14500 the runtime on these for the 14500 would be 28 hours on the low 4 hours on the medium and 45 minutes on the high and the AAA uh, the AA the double A would be 36 hours on low, 11 hours on the medium, and 1 hour 45 minutes on the high. And the beam distance is 195 metres. It's drop resistant, and it's IXP8, so that's pretty much waterproof, and that's up to 2, two metres. 
The other feature you get is the magnetised tail cap, which would make this into a very useful working tool, I think. This would be perfect for someone who has to work behind cupboards or something, or anywhere where you'd need a light. You can mount this on anything you've got that's metal, you know. And another good bonus with that is with the diffuser, you just have it like that, and then that would light up wherever you want. You could stick this on wherever you need a bit of light. You know, not just for just for work stuff, but there's many things you could use that magnetised tail cap for. You know, working on a car. And then when you've got that on, you just twist the cap to change the settings. And there you can see the glow in the dark of the diffuser. So what I'll do now, I'll show you some footage in my garden and in my house and sort of walking up my path. Right, so this is the torch outside on low. Just about see it. To the naked eye, it's a bit more powerful than it looks on camera. So then this is the medium. It starts to light up the garden now. And then you'll see high, that really does light up the garden. So now I'll show you with the diffuser on. So this is low with the diffuser. Again, to the naked eye, you can see a bit more than that. Now this is the medium, you can start to see me now. And then this is the high, and you can see it does actually light up the ground and the walls, and would work good. So now this is me walking up a path on low. Now we're on to medium, you can see it lights up the area a bit more. Then on to high. Now this is indoors with no diffuser on, so that's the low. See a good little spot there. The medium starts to light the whole room up straight away. And then the high is a lot brighter, but the camera doesn't seem to pick up so well. But it is a lot brighter than the others. So then this is the diffuser. You can see straight away indoors. You can see my face when it was in front of me. You see it lighting up the ceiling there. Medium, now it's lighting up the room. It would work as a good sort of indoor light if you had an emergency. And then the high, that really does light up the room. Works really well. Right, so that was the outdoor footage. You can see it performs really well. I would have spoke to you about it as you was watching it, but you can see it pretty much lights up my entire garden on the high. Yeah, really good. So the dimensions on this is 9 centimetres long and about 18.5 millimetres wide and is 25 grams, so very light. If you've ever seen the Through Night 1A V3, it's a similar torch, but this one's actually smaller and got a few more options. So if you look at the difference there, you can see this is quite a bit smaller than that one. Can take a more powerful battery. Yeah, so well worth getting, I think. That is the Lumin Top Tool AA. Available from the links below. There'll be a couple of different links. There'll be Amazon links. Lumen top links and a gear best link for this as well. Don't forget if you ever want to support this channel, you can either by Patreon or using the gear best and Amazon links I provide. That way you can support the channel without having to do anything but buying stuff that you'd buy anyway, and I'll get a small percentage of what you spend each time. So, yeah, that was it. The tool AA. If you need any more info, it'll be in the description below. All the links will be below. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you found something you like the look of. Alright? See you later.